Okay, so we're going to take our quiz today. But before we do, I wanted to um, go over a few problems like what you're going to see on the quiz and <clears throat> give you some notes that you can use, that kind of thing. And then um, I'm also going to give you some help and some pointers on the quiz itself. I know we've been kind of trying to rush through this, and so I'm trying to help you out as much as I can just to get us through these last few days before Christmas. All right, so I'm gonna do a few of these. Um, may not do them all. Time, see what, see how the time goes. All right, the first Ferris wheel built in 1893. Its diameter was 250 feet. Well, I'm gonna tell you, when I'm doing these word problems with these circles, the first thing I do is draw my circle. I draw it because, you know, I mean, I've told y'all a hundred times, I'm a visual person. So I'm gonna draw my circle with a diameter. Diameter is going to be all the way across. My diameter is 250 feet. So this is 250. How many feet did the Ferris wheel rotate with one complete turn? So we're talking about from here around to here. So what we're looking at here is the circumference. So we're one complete turn is just gonna be the circumference. We want the circumference. And the formula for circumference is C equals pi D. Okay, C equals pi D, pi being 3.14 times the diameter. And we're just gonna use 3.14 as, as pi. You put 3.14 in. You can use the pi symbol on the calculator, but I would just recommend using 3.14. because when you're doing multiple choice, more than likely that's what they've done. 785. So C equals 785 feet. Okay, that's it. The circumference of a circle is 30, 36.31. So C equals 36.31. What is the approximate length of the radius? Now, this one you've got to work backwards. I know you are going to see this problem again, so I need you to pay close attention to this. This is C. What do we also know about C? Well, we also know that C equals pi times the diameter, okay? So that means that this is pi times the diameter. That's pi times the diameter. So let's write this. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this 36.31 and we're gonna substitute it in for C right there. So we're gonna get 36.31 is C equals pi times the diameter. Well, we're gonna change pi to 3.14. 3.14 times D. Well, now we've just got a simple one-step equation. Now we've got a simple one-step equation. We've got to divide both sides by 3.14. And D equals 3.14. Now, so D equals 11.56, all right? That's D. It's asking you in the problem, what is the radius? The radius is going to be half of that. R equals one half of D. So we've got to divide that 11 when we get 5.78 so we're going to call R 5.8 
R is going to be 5.8. Okay. Now, a circle has a circumference of 25.12. Um, what is the diameter of the circle? Well, we're going to draw that circle. Um, give me just one second. Let's draw that circle. Well, no, it has a circumference of this. So C is going to equal 25.12. What is the diameter? Well, C equals pi times D. So 25.12 equals 3.14D. Divide both sides by 3.14. And D is going to equal... 25, 8. D is going to equal 8. <clears throat> a bicycle trail in the shape of a circle has a diameter of 3 miles. So, a bicycle trail in the shape of a circle has a diameter of 3 miles. So, D equals three. I kind of do it like that because I don't ever want to get it messed up with the radius. Michelle biked around the trail four times. About how far did Michelle bike? So it wants to know the distance around. The distance around on the outside like that is circumference. This is circumference. So C equals pi times D. C equals 3.14 times three, 9.42. Now, that is the circumference. That is not the answer, because it says she went around it four times. So now we've got to take that 9.42 and multiply that times four. And we get 37.68. Okay. Make sure you're paying close attention to the problems. Number five, what is the approximate difference in the circumference of a circle with a radius of four and the circumference of a circle with a radius of six? Well, you're gonna have to do both circles, okay? So here's our circle with a radius of four. And here's my circle with a radius of six. All right, so my circle with a radius of four. Now you can do circumference with radius. I just like to do it with the, with the diameter. So what I do over here is I say if R equals four, D equals eight. And I just go ahead and get my R and my D and get it out of the way. So now C equals pi D. C equals 3.14 times 8. 25.1 C equals 25.12 right here. Over here, R equals 6. D equals 12. So C equals 3.14 times 12. 36 points, I mean 37.68. And it wants to know right here, it says, what is the approximate difference? So we're going to take our 37 and minus 25.12, and we get 12.56. That is the answer, because that is the approximate difference. All right, 
The drawing above represents table cloths Margot is thinking about buying. She plans to sew a decorative fringe on the tablecloth. About how much fringe will Margot have to sew on the round tablecloth? Well, the round tablecloth means that the fringe is gonna go around this outside edge. This is, this is the circumference. Again, this is the circumference, okay? So, C equals pi times D, 3.14 times three and three fourths. 0.14 times 3.75, because I'm just not gonna put in that fraction, 11.775. And I'm gonna write that down like that, and then round it to 11.78. Now let's talk about this for a minute. How much fringe will she have to sew? Well, let's think about if she had to go to the store and buy, how much would she have to buy? If it comes in one yard increments, what's the least amount she can buy? The least amount she could buy would be 12 feet because she's got to have 11.78, which is almost 12. And so in order to have enough, she's gotta buy 12. Okay, so the question you're gonna see that's similar to that is asking you that. Okay. Um, so look at number seven. Your friends join you for a hike. We are not going to. Don't let all these words mess you up. There you find a massive redwood tree. You're told to get an extra credit in geometry if you can figure out its diameter without cutting it down. One of your friends has an idea. You can measure the circumference of the tree. So the circumference is this. So C equals 43.2. C also equals pi times D. Well, if C is 43.2, that's 3.14 times D. We divide both sides by 3.14. D is going to equal 43.2 divided by 3.14, 13.757, which is gonna be 13.6. So D equals 13.6. And just for the sake of Giggles, let's do 13.76, sorry, 13.76, 13.76 divided by 2 is 6.88 would be your radius, because we're going to take half of that. So if you needed the radius, you would just take half of that. Pizza night, you call your favorite pizzeria find out what kind of pizza they sell. They like to play with math games. Option A is a radius of 10 for this. All right, option A, pizza pie. All right, so this is A. We're gonna draw it. There's my pizza. Has a radius of 10. And this one costs $13.95. Option B. has a circumference of 72, and it costs $13.95. Well, what I'm gonna do is find D on both of these. The one, D is gonna tell me the pizza that's the, big, the biggest all the way across. If I find my diameter all the way across right here, it's gonna tell me which pizza is the biggest, okay? So, right here, if the radius is on, on A, if R is 10, D is gonna be 20. So the diameter over here is 20. Let's find out what the diameter is over here. To do that, we're gonna say C equals pi 
times D. So 72 equals 3.14 times D. Divide both sides by 3.14. And 72 divided by 3.14 is 22.9. It's 22.929, so 0.93. So this is the better buy, because D here equals 22 point, almost 23. We could round that to 23. So B is the better buy, because it has a larger diameter. Okay, so there's that. I will post the key to this, so that you'll have that to look at. Now, don't pay attention to my notes. I just needed something to write. To put my paper on, to press down on. Here's your quiz. Here's your quiz. And you will notice that a lot of your quiz is very similar. The thing about this quiz, now all of these, all of these were about circumference. None of them really had to do with the area. So we gotta do a little bit of talking about area. Um. Throw this over here. I'll give y'all a copy of this too. Um, I want to do these two right here, just to give you. Let's just. I'm gonna do number seven and eight. But circumference is pi d. Area is pi r squared. Okay. The area of a circle is pi r squared. So if the radius is 39, what would the area be? So the area is pi times r squared. So that's 3.14 times radius is 39 squared. So you're going to want to square 39, 3.14 times, and you can put all of that right straight in your calculator. 3.14 times, I would do it with parentheses, times 39 squared. Put it in the parentheses like that. And you're gonna get four seven seven five point nine four. That would be D. And that's all there is to do in the radius. What is the area of a circle with a diameter of fifty-two? Well, I don't need the diameter. So if D is fifty-two, then R is gonna be half of that. I need R when I'm doing is twenty-six. So then I'm gonna do Pi times 26 squared. So I come right here. 3.14 times 26. Hit the X squared button. Put my parentheses on there. 21, 2, 1, 2, 2.64. That's all there is to that. Okay. So now let's go to the quiz. What is the circumference of a circle below? I don't think you'd have any problem with that. See, circle. here's the thing. When you get to this quiz, the one thing I want you to make sure you're doing is, um, I'm trying to make sure this is focused in good for y'all. It looks a little bit blurry to me. Make sure you're recognizing whether or not you're trying to find circumference or area, okay? Make sure you're recognizing whether you're trying to find circumference or area. So what I would do is I would, all right, so this is circumference. I'm gonna go and put C equals pi D. I'm gonna write that down so I know what I'm doing. Mike bought a circular carpet for his game room. The carpet has a diameter, diameter of 16 feet. Go ahead and underline that. What is the approximate area? So what am I looking for? I'm looking for A equals pi r squared. You've got to make sure you're using the right formula, okay? The clock face has the shape of a circle. The distance across the circle is six. The distance across the circle is six. That means that D equals six. The length of the minute hand is half the distance across the circle. 
So the length of the minute hand is R. What is the circumference? Make sure, so that's pi D. What is the area? Pi R squared. Okay. A sports team is selling circular patches. Each patch is a radius. What is the area? Pi R squared. Lana is putting lace trim around the border of a circular tablecloth. What, all right, that one goes right back to this. This one right here, there it is. Number six on that practice paper that we just did. Randy's bicycle has a diameter. The approximate circumference. What is the area? Pi R squared. We, I did these for you. Don't even skip those. They're answered. Just put those answers in Mastery Connect. You're welcome. Merry Christmas. What is the circumference? Area. Okay. This is pi D. Pi R squared. All right. Get it done. Get a lot. I mean, if you have any questions, you should be good to go.